Hey everyone. So today we are going to look at the electronics for the John Deere third function. Now, Hydros Plus is coming out with a third function. And I've said before, if you've asked me on the phone or, or in previous videos, I've always said that this really is the best third function handle that is on the market. And that is one of the two reasons I recommend, at least for the one series, the OEM third function. The second reason has to do with, at least on the one series and the 2025R, is the fact that the third function SCV is underneath there. It's completely out of the way. You don't even know it's there. And I just like things when they have a clean look like this. Um, I do not like installing it because it really is a pain, but that pain goes away after, you know, three to 12 hours or however long it takes you to put it on. And, uh, and you get to enjoy the fact that you don't have to look at that SCV ever again. Uh, that said, um, this, so if you're following along, you'll know there are some new hydraulic components coming, uh, for the one series, two, three, uh, once you get up into probably five, maybe not four, but five series, you can start using skid steer type attachments. You get in 12, 14, 16 gallons per minute. Um, but as long as you're down into the compact and subcompact world, uh, there really aren't a lot of hydraulic uh, implements that will work on these tractors. Now we're changing that. And because we're changing that, we need some new functionality. Doesn't have to happen in this handle here but that's where we're going to start and there there'll probably be a few different ways to handle it over time no pun intended uh as i bring out the third function for the hydros plus as well as some additional uh hydraulic functions uh there's likely going to be more buttons either down here or here that's really messy uh i have the the new 2023 version of the the black piece at least, but I think you need more pieces. Tractor Time with Tim did a video on it. Uh, I bought the top piece and didn't have the rest of the pieces, but you know, some rocker switches would go nicely in the 2023 version. But if you've got a 2011 1026R, then you'll want to have something, you know, here. Not that you can't put something there, but um, making it cleaner should be uh it will be easier by keeping it in here so enough rambling what are we talking about we are talking about adding a new non-momentary button here this as you can see has a place for a button but there's nothing behind it this is a button this is a button nothing behind it now the reason for this is that this cover is used on multiple John Deere tractors, including the 3R. Uh, I don't know if the 4 series does, but also uh, some of the John Deere construction equipment, the back hose. And I think that's really where, and I learned this from uh, Ken, from Ken's Bolt on Hooks. I think this is what he told me is that, that that button has a use in some of the construction equipment, but on the three series, it does not have a use all the way down to the one series. And I say, I'm specifically saying the three series, Ken actually has this, and I believe it's available on his website now, where you can, uh, he has done all the electronics to activate this button. And of course you have to decide what you want to connect it to. Um, but it's still, I think, uh, I don't remember, but I think it's a momentary switch. So like if you wanted a horn or something else, you want to wire something else up, um, he has all the stuff to do it, uh, at least for the three series. I'm not sure if what he's put together works on the other ones, but go over there and see. Uh, he'll have all the information and, and if it's not clear, I'm sure he'll, he'll answer those questions. But for us, this, oh, my solder job is basically going to go behind here. And what this does is it clicks on and clicks off. So it's non-momentary and it's going to activate one of these. And I don't remember, I just kind of put this together. To me, it doesn't matter which one it activates um, because I can handle the, uh, the direction uh, with the hoses. But what the idea is, if you have, say an auger, for an example, 
well, auger you can use, you can hold it, you're done drilling, you can reverse out. But if you want to use this with an auger, you can click this on and it will stay on until you click it off. Now, that could cause some trouble potentially if you don't notice that it's on, say you clicked it on and uh, you know you don't have anything hooked up. I realize that is uh, you know a, a bit of a risk, but same thing goes for your rocker switches. If you accidentally hit one of those, it'll come on and most likely you're gonna know that it's on because you're gonna hear your tractor start to sound differently because you're gonna put uh, hydraulic fluid over the pressure relief valve. You're going to notice it in your loader. So while, you know, I would love to have a situation where it like uh, had some safety mechanism where it'll turn it off. If you accidentally turn it on, that's not what we're going to have here. It's going to be on and then click it again and it's going to be off. Um, so that's how it's supposed to work. We'll see if it works that way. Um, and let me just show you, actually, let me, Get on the other side and I'll, I'll show you what I've got hooked up. All right, we're on the other side of the tractor and I've taken this plug off. This plug goes up to the, uh, the buttons on, on the joystick. There's a hot wire and two signal wires. Now this uh, harness goes, as you can see, it cuts off and goes here. Now this doesn't go directly to here. It actually goes up to a relay on the firewall then wires come back down and go. And that's just a two wire, 12 volt, make the connection, turn the connection off. These are what's commonly referred to as a bang, bang valve. They're on, off. Um, the valve that I'm working on for a third function is gonna be a proportional. So we'll have a potentiometer that tells it like, instead of 12 volt, no 12 volt, it's gonna be, you know, 12 volt, it'll use PWM, it'll be, you know, something to the effect of, uh, probably six volts, nine volts, and then 12. Won't, I won't have like infinite uh, variations necessarily, but we'll have uh, three or four that will that should give you more flexibility in what you want to run off that third function SCV. So that said, we've got the wires off here, and what all I'm going to do, and I've got this end of it wired in. Oops. I'm just going to plug this in. Let's see here, maybe this way. Now this isn't the right plug for it, it's just when I got it, AutoZone. Uh, so, but it, it's gonna make the connections for me. And, and I'm not gonna route all of this the way it should go right now. I'm simply going to uh, put it into the, the handle and see how it works. So let me go ahead and take the handle off, won't make you watch me do that, and add this new PCB board. All right, I've got everything apart here. And so, oops, gonna have to lose, oh, there it is. So basically, pull this off. Part I'm after are these, you know what? Hold on. Okay, forgot that I had this piece i don't have that in my i need to I forgot to make that hole hmm Don't know if you can hear that but you can hear those clicking i'm gonna go I'm going to go without this at the moment, see how bad that messes something up. Cable might be too fat. Oh, you know what? I'm going to need to. Let me make a hole. I just looked, can't make a hole. Let's see here. Focus. Hole. We went right to my Hydros Plus logo. Couldn't do that. Actually, the reason I can't do it is because some of the paths go right through there, which makes sense when you don't put a hole there. I totally forgot about that. Okay. Well, let's see. We can kind of make shift. Make this work. 
Hmm. Oh, it's like this. And we'll do, oops, hit the camera. Hmm. And by the way, if anybody's wondering this, I have checked with the manufacturer and the uh, solenoids down there are rated for 100% duty cycle. So uh, if you're wondering, if oh, my thing's too big no no it's not if you're wondering if there's going to be some issue i don't really have to put this on the going to just to see how far off i was uh if there's going to be some issue running continuous there will not be an issue running continuous because these are uh i don't actually know the if it if it's truly set as a hundred it should be a hundred percent duty cycle but basically the way uh my rep uh responded to me it, and it's at, at the manufacturer he said we have them running on on machines that are that run for 10 hours straight so uh whatever you want to do with this should be fine so i take that uh as real world answer to yeah they will handle the duty cycle if you don't know for those who don't know duty cycle you see that on a lot of things all it means is you know how long can it continuously run before you have to rest uh, like a welder often has duty cycle um, so that you know, you can't just weld, for, especially for like consumer models that you can buy at Home Depot or something. Even if it's a Lincoln, you're not going to be able to weld for an hour straight. It's usually like a 60% duty cycle or something, 60% on, uh, 40 off. So I've got this guy on here and seems to work. Let me get something to test with and we'll see how it goes well this is the best i'm going to be able to do for the moment because i have stolen parts from my all the motors i have or the uh, hydraulic flow meters they're all missing something this is the easiest so i've got this is from the third function plus. These are the outlets for that. And if you don't know, those actually go, now it usually has the uh, loader on, but those come up here and then connect to the third function, which is what this button uh, controls. So let's see. I'm sure it works, but let's see. I don't know if you noticed that, but it was already on. So, I'm missing that. So, we're going out. This is the voluntary button. This is the constant on. So, constantly on, it gets, when it bottoms out, you're going to hear it drag the tractor down, and it's going to stay on until we click it off. So, okay. Success, works as designed. And I don't think it's gonna be an issue because as you can tell, you'll know something's wrong. You'll know something's wrong. Just like uh, ever get on your tractor and not completely hook up your uh, power beyond or something to that effect. And, uh, you know, it, 
it doesn't work right or your your loader will quit working the way you know it'll work so anyway that's it for today um that was something i had to get done i've got implements coming uh for testing i've got one implement that i homemade built and i haven't been doing turbo work on this tractor and i'm just about ready to take it out but right now it's so muddy here i don't really want to take it out till it dries up some because i don't want to wash it uh leave my 2038 over there uh for the time being to do tractor work um but that's it for today uh get hope you're getting excited like i am for the new hydraulic capabilities we're bringing and uh questions comments leave them below thanks for watching